The Trident 2D5, first fired in the 1990s, is an upgraded version of the 1970s-era Trident I nuclear weapon. The Trident 2D5S were initially engineered to serve until 2027. However, an ongoing series of upgrades are now working to extend its service life. The Navy is modernizing its arsenal of Trident 2D5 nuclear missiles in order to ensure their service life can extend for 25 more years aboard the Navy's nuclear ballistic missile submarine fleet, service leaders said. The 44-foot-long submarine-launched missiles have been serving on Ohio-class submarines for 25 years, service leaders explained. The U.S. Navy is accelerating upgrades to the nuclear warhead for its arsenal of Trident 2D5 nuclear-armed submarine-launched missiles, massively destructive weapons designed to keep international peace by ensuring and undersea-fired second strike ability in the event of a catastrophic nuclear first strike on the U.S. The Navy has been working on technical upgrades to the existing Trident 2D5 in order to prevent obsolescence and ensure the missile system remains viable for the next several decades. The Navy has modified an existing deal with Charles Stark Draper Laboratory has to continue work on the missile's 6 Malawian Quatches guidance system, an agreement to continue specific work on the weapon's electronic modules. The modification awards $59 million to the firm, a DOD statement said. As part of the technical improvements to the missile, the Navy is upgrading what's called the MK-4 reentry body, the part of the missile that houses a thermonuclear warhead. The life extension for the MK-4 reentry body includes efforts to replace components including the firing circuit, Navy officials explained. Navy and industry engineers have been modernizing the guidance system by replacing two key components due to obsolescence, the inertial measurement unit and the electronics assembly, developers said. The Navy is also working with the Air Force on refurbishing the MK-5 reentry body which will be ready by 2019, senior Navy officials said. Navy officials said the MK-5 reentry body has more yield than an MK-4 reentry body, adding that more detail on the differences was not publicly available. The missile also has a larger structure called a release assembly which houses and releases the reentry bodies, Navy officials said. There is an ongoing effort to engineer a new release assembly that will work with either the MK-4 or MK-5 reentry body. The Trident 2D5, first fired in the 1990s, is an upgraded version of the 1970s-era Trident I nuclear weapon. The Trident 2D5S were initially engineered to serve until 2027. However, an ongoing series of upgrades are now working to extend its service life. The Navy is modernizing its arsenal of Trident 2D5 nuclear missiles in order to ensure their service life can extend for 25 more years aboard the Navy's nuclear ballistic missile submarine fleet, service leaders said. The 44-foot-long submarine-launched missiles have been serving on Ohio-class submarines for 25 years, service leaders explained. The missiles are also being planned as the baseline weapon for the Ohio Replacement Program Ballistic Missile Submarine, a platform slated to serve well into the 2080s, so the Navy wants to extend the service life of the Trident 2D5 missiles to ensure mission success in future decades. Under the U.S.-Russia New START Treaty signed in 2010, roughly 70% of the U.S. nuclear warheads will be deployed on submarines. Within the last several years, the Navy has acquired an additional 108 Trident 2D5 missiles in order to strengthen the inventory for testing and further technological development.